friends and welcome back to my channel and to this video that's going to be January haul. If you're wondering about this makeup, it is coming up later this week. So don't fret, it's coming up later this week. I did a classic tutorial. Who am I? Hopefully you'll enjoy it. I'm going to show you some things that I bought and some things that I received in PR during the, la uh, the month of January. I used to do like the things I bought, but I've changed that now. <laughs> New year, new rules. This is how I'm doing it right now. I'm gonna do it the things I receive. Because sometimes I buy something in January and I receive it in March. It happened. It's not happen. So this year I'm gonna do the things I receive, like actually get with in my grubby hands from the 1st of January to the last of January. That's what you're gonna see here. And I'm gonna start with the things that I bought and I'm gonna end with PR. Wait, 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 not true. I'm gonna start with the things I bought. I'm gonna then do some PR and then I'm gonna end with the things I bought in fashion. Cause I did buy, I made two orders with like fashion and I bought one, two, three, four, four pieces of clothing and one bag. So I'm gonna show you that towards the very end. Cause I do know that Quite a few of you are very interested in some more fashion inspired things for me and I'm trying to I'm trying to do more of that. So we're gonna start with the things that I bought and let's start with the first thing. Uh, this isn't necessarily the first thing I bought but let's start with this one because I already filmed with this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Breezy palette. I bought this in Sweden on release. So I bought it pretty soon after release and I've already filmed three looks and per usual I will leave all the details in the description box. It's gonna be links to where you can find it. It's also gonna be links to videos where I use it because I did do a one palette three looks with this and I was pretty I was pretty pleased with my video. I thought the looks were really cute. I will include this in a review roundup because I, I have some opinions. <laughs> I have some opinions, but I don't hate the palette and I don't regret buying it. I think it's a really cute palette And I also heard some people wanting some uh, dupes for bar But I will, I will try and uh, look for that because I'm pretty sure that I can find some dupes for that If you just want to buy a single the next thing I bought Well, this is not true because I have already mentioned this and I bought this in December I bought the four mini palettes from Juvia's place uh, and I bought this I bought this when it was released and I've already made a video. So this is the chocolates um, and this is the nudes and this is the berries <laughs> and this is the violets. Uh, like I said, again, have a video and I will leave it down below where I go through these a bit more thoroughly, swatch them and let you know my thoughts. I also make a look. I have been really enjoying these. I bought this myself. I do have an affiliate code with Juvia's though. If you're interested in purchasing something from Juvia's place, I will leave it down below. It is Angelica, just like my first name, that is the code. But yeah, I will leave the video down below. That was the thing that I actually bought in December and then it uh, arrived to me <laughs> in January. That's how we roll here. I made an order from Colourpop. I haven't made an order from Colourpop in a while. This is, this is PR, we're gonna show you this later. But I made an order from Colourpop and I bought three things, only three things. I feel pretty really good about that. Wait, let me find it. Oh, here it is, found it. <laughs> so I bought three things from Colourpop. I bought the meant to be have a video with this as well and I also bought the coconut beach uh, bronzer I think I used this in a couple of videos on my channel right now this is a bronzer it's the only bronzer I have from Colourpop I, I never ended up buying a bronzer from them before and then this is the mint to be so far I'm really enjoying this palette I think it's so cute I will leave the video down below where I uh, use this palette together with the lilac you a lot and then I bought this one and it's so uh, fun that I bought this because this is like the you know the trending color scheme right now with the reds and the purples with the pinks and the oranges and then a lot of people have been putting in a yellow maybe this palette could be a reminder that all of those big palettes you see with this color scheme you could make it with a 12 pan palette because these are singles that I bought from Colourpop. I made it with their Create Your Own palette, singles that I didn't own. I think it looks really cute. If you want me to use this, maybe like an Instagram tutorial or something, let me know. Just ended up buying. There was a couple of like singles I didn't own from Colourpop and I was interested in trying them so I ended up doing a little palette like this. They're pretty affordable when you make a little palette and I was super excited to pick that up. Then I made an order from House of Lashes. I think I made that in December to be honest. Same here, I made this in December and I got it later. I bought quite a few lashes because I was out of a bunch of my favorites from uh, House of Lashes. I have another one here that I also bought. But I bought one of their trios uh, with the Iconic Lux plus the one that's already been used. This is the new Foam Mink Iconic, so it's like the same 
iconic that we know and love but like in a more fluffy foaming style and then i bought uh, it, yeah, I bought a trio of the original Iconics. These you can buy in Sweden, but they're always out. So I decided to buy them from the site instead. So I bought three of the Iconics. They're my favorite lash style ever. Then I bought one of the Iconic Lights because I still have one left, but since I made an order. And then I bought one of the Siren Flare, which was a new, um, new Siren Lash from them, a bit more tapered. And I love the Siren Lashes, so I just decided to pick one of those up. I love the House of Lashes lash brand. They're my favorite types of lashes. They're the one I go through the most. So I didn't feel bad buying all those lashes because I do know I'm going to use all of them. And I have already been using the these ones, the Iconic Lux. And you've probably seen them in a couple of videos that I've been using them. They're really nice. I will link a video down below where I'm using these so you can see how they look on because that is the new iconic style, the ones that are more fluffy, a foaming style. The House of Lashes are cruelty-free and they only use synthetic lashes in case you were wondering about that. Let me see if I actually bought anything more of this. Uh, I'm gonna need a second. I have gotten these things a little bit mixed up so I actually don't know if I bought anything more at Sephora than these three things. I can't really remember but I don't think I did. I'm hoping I did. But I bought the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder in Tinted in Fair. And I have a video where I use this also together with these two things from Milk. So I will leave that video down below if you want to see my opinions on this. And I bought the Flex Highlighter in Lit, which is the lightest one. Really pretty highlighter. Why does this smell like potpourri? And then I have the Milk Makeup Longwear Gel Eyeliner in in nothing. <laughs> what is this in? PTO. Uh, this is like the more iridescent blue. I think the non-shimmery formula is better from Milk than this one. I wasn't that impressed by this one, but I've heard people really loving this formula. So I do think the ones without shimmer are probably better. Then I don't think I bought any more, and I think the rest is PR, but let me check just to make sure. Yeah, I think the rest of these things are PR. So if you're not interested in PR, <laughs> this is where the PR comes. I do think I have used most of this to be honest. I think there's only a couple of things that I haven't tried yet uh, and I'm gonna put some fashion towards the end. So if you want to skip to the fashion it's gonna be towards the end. One of the first packages I got was that I got the... Ooh, let me see if I can show you the... Huh, here it is. I got the eye primer from Dior Cosmetics. This is a new eye primer that is already available and then I got the Smoky Glow and Midas Cosmetics collab. I got this together because the owner of Midas Cosmetics is friends with the owner of Dior Cosmetics and when she sent me this PR. She also included one of the palettes and I have a video with this up. This is what it looks like. It's pink and like sparkly. Oh and, <laughs> and I still have like the picture of Hannah here and it's like some plastic and this is what the palette looks like. And if you want to see some swatches and if you want to see a look with this palette, it is already live on my channel. I will try and do something more. I just need to get some time. It's been really stressful in my life these last couple of weeks, not gonna lie. Uh, but I, I will do my best to get some something more up. I do think that, I think that this is supposed to be the like available um Valentine's Day, but they might have had some setback due to uh, the Lunar New Year's being prolonged due to the coronavirus. Oh, all of these things, but I will leave some info down below and I will leave the video down below where I'm swatching it. I also got a package from Odin's Eye, which is a Swedish indie brand, and they sent me because they have come out with some new blushes. Let me see if I got all of them. But here is another one. So they sent me all of the blushes and also, oh yeah, they sent me some lips, uh, lip, uh, lipsticks. So they have come up with some new blushes. I have a video where I'm using these together and I also have a video where I'm wearing one of the stains. Let me show you those in a bit. So the blushes are little single blushes like this and in the video where I'm using this, I'm showing you all the colors and letting you know what they're called. But this one, for example, is Sweet Peach. It's like a mauvey pink. So these are already available. It's a really nice cardboard packaging with a little mirror if you like that. Some are matte, some are shimmery. And like I said, I don't think the video where I am using this and together with this palette that is called Elva, eyeshadow palette, Elva is fairy in Swedish. It's an <laughs> it's a Swedish indie brand based on Norse mythology. And this is what the palette looks like. It's a bit like rosy neutral with some pops up orange and yellow here and these shimmers are really nice and like I said I do have a video coming I'm pretty sure that the video is coming where I'm using this I could be I could be mistaken if it's already up I will leave it down below because honestly I don't sometimes I don't know in which order I am filming but I have used it and it will be up uh, or is already up 
I don't know. And then there are some liquid lipsticks. There are six different shades and some of them are the same names as the blushes and some of the blushes also have the same names as the cream lip stains which do not dry down. But these do dry down and I did use this one, the dry dates, and a lot of you told me that the dates are actually referring to um, the fruit but I thought they were like spelled dates because that's how we would say it in Sweden but I was Totally not correct, but you corrected me. This is the dry dates, and it is definitely the color of dry dates. This does dry down completely. I didn't feel like it was super uncomfortable on the lips, and the smell... The smell... Honestly, and I'm honest here, the smell of the Uden's Eye products, like the lip products, are probably the best smelling lip products in the game. They smell like a tropical candy in a very non-intrusive way. They're just so yummy. Yeah, they smell super, super nice. And yeah, there's a couple of different colors. There, I thought this, maybe was it Sweet Peach? That was like a really cute, like, a uh, corally shade. And then we have this one that probably ripe, ripe papaya. Look at this orangey shade. Oh, so pretty. And it smells so nice. So yeah, these are already available as well. So now they do have some cream lip stains that doesn't dry down. Super comfortable. And those uh, liquid lipsticks that do dry down. They did dry down completely, but they didn't uh, crumble, and I don't feel like they faded very um, unevenly or something like that, and I didn't feel like, oh my god, I need some moisture on my lips, I didn't feel like that at all, so... So far, they were pretty, pretty nice formula. Then I got a package from, oh yeah, I got a package from uh, Benefit Cosmetics. Uh, just a few things. They sent me three boxed items and then they sent me a Kebrow. This Kebrow is in shade number three, which I think will probably be a really good shade for me. I don't know if this is the shade that I usually use, but as long as it's not number one or number five, I'm usually fine. And then they sent me three box products. Two of them are... No, that's not true. They sent me the Rockateur, which I have in a... I had in the palette from before. Or do I still have in the palette? I'm not sure. But it is a... Let me show you. It is like a mauve pink like this that has some shimmer to it. This is an overspray, but the whole product does have some shimmer in it, if I'm not totally mistaken. And then they sent me Gold Rush. This is their newest blush, right? And I have used this. It's a beautiful, like, warm peach with some gold. Um, I did use this one. And I don't think I mentioned it, but I did have it on. I think it was a really nice on the on the skin and then it's cookie. They sent me cookie as well because they actually asked me is this something you want to try and I said I would love to try cookie. And I will say I hate this packaging. I really do and I even told Benefit this. I don't like this packaging but, but, cookie highlighter, really pretty. It is definitely worth the hype. I thought it was really really pretty on the skin so I'm looking forward to using that a bit more. I also got a powder from uh, Paulina, which is a Swedish indie brand, and this is called the Prouder. This is made with an ingredient that's called Upsolite, which is a patented ingredient that will soak up I don't know how many times more, but it's really good if you get oily skin. It will keep your makeup looking fresh for a much longer time. This is only available in Sweden though, but I am using this in an upcoming or maybe already available um, tutorial, although I used it together with a foundation that I didn't like. So I will use this a bit more because I didn't like the uh, foundation, but so far uh, the, pr the Prowler is really interesting and I'm looking forward to using it a bit more. I got one PR package from Colourpop and that was the uh, holiday uh, highlighter and liquid highlighter and the brushes. And these are the things that I haven't gotten around to use yet. Ooh, but I want to use it, but I haven't gotten around to it. This liquid highlighter is a beautiful gold and it has like a, like you press the dropper and you get like, do we want to see what this looks like? I just don't know why I haven't gotten around to using this yet. It's a pretty subtle, it's pretty subtle. But I think it could be really good with layering, but it's not like super pale friendly, I'm just telling you. And two of the brushes from Colourpop, I'm gonna put this in my brush holder here so I can use them. It's the F24. Uh, Seems like it's gonna be a really good under eye 
setting powder or even maybe highlighter or glowy blush. And then it is in F23. This is a, oh my God, is that cat hair? <laughs> Sorry, really good foundation brush with a flat top, which is what I like with foundation brushes because it really works it into the pore. It makes it look seamless. And then it's this big highlighter. This is the, they're still doing this really big packaging that is very inspired by Marc Jacobs. And this is the Pressed Illuminator in Champagne Bubbles. Mine, it doesn't close. This packaging isn't my favorite, but mine doesn't close. Do you see? Yeah. So, uh, I haven't used this. Uh, it looks really pretty. Uh, the mirror is extremely big. I've never had the problem that it just doesn't close before. Haven't used it. I'll try and use it and see what I think about it. I don't even know if they're still available. This I might use a bit more, honestly, because I like when it's like warm like this, because then I can mix it into my foundation when I'm using a sheer cover foundation. Because usually, I don't know why, but all the like liquid illuminators that I seem to like get into my life, they're all pinky based. And this doesn't really look that good when you don't have a pink undertone to mix up with your foundation. But I don't seem to be doing that good when it comes to that. I'm gonna mention, do, do, do. oh yeah, I got these as well. Let me just mention these quickly. I got the We Makeup, ooh, new colors in the liquid lipsticks, Ever Liquid Lipsticks. They sent me three new colors. These are 15, 16, and 45. Uh, I've used this in a video, I don't remember which one, or did I? I don't even know, but this red looks really, really cute, like a warm, more muted red. Like, almost like a pinky raspberry. Yeah, I think that this, this also smells good. This smells like taffy. <laughs> this smells really, really nice. But I really do like the Ever Liquid the Lipstick Formula. I've grown to like them even a bit more now that I've used them uh, some. They do dry down com completely, but I don't feel like they are uncomfortable on the lips. So I might hold on to at least de these two shades because I feel like these are shades that I could use. Maybe this darker plummy one isn't something that I use a lot and I already have something in this color that I like. So I'm probably going to give this to a friend or maybe my mom because my mom really likes a sultry uh, dark lip and she has been really into liquid lipsticks lately because they're more smudge proof let's say then let's talk about the last thing when we went to the Ace of beauty expo we got quite a few things and i did a post on instagram showing like my favorites or the most interesting ones from those because they're quite a lot so i'm not going to talk about that here again but before we went to expo we went to a pr firm and i got a couple of things that i want to talk about because i like them and one of them doesn't seem to be here but i got some new products from budgie Budgie is a Swedish brand that does hair care and I have really been enjoying the products that I've used. This is the top coat spray for shiny power hold. This is a hairspray for some hold but also shine which I have been really enjoying with my hair. But then we have, where is the one that I've been using the most? I don't see it. Where did I put it? Ah! I honestly don't see it. Where did I put it? Oh, I put it here. Found it because I got two dry shampoos. This is the purifying charcoal uh, dry shampoo for detoxed freshness. I don't understand really what this is, but this one, I've used so much of this. I'm almost out. This is the Brass Kicking Silver Dry Shampoo for brighter hair days. This has a light lavender like color to it. So don't be using this if you have a warm hair tone because it's going to look so weird. But if you have a cooler hair tone, this, you can see it on the sprayer. You see that it's a bit purpley and actually has the, that color on the powder that comes out. I hope you saw it. I hope you saw it. Oh my God, it's getting dark behind me. It's really cool because when your hair gets a bit more greasy and you need to like wash it, the grease does make your color look a bit warmer or brassier. So this one not only takes away the grease, but it also does lighten up the hair a bit with those lilac-y uh, colors, which makes it look cooler and blonder again. So I have been really enjoying this one. It's been really cool for my hair and it also gives some texture and I love that. So if you're living in Sweden and you have a cooler hair color, I do recommend trying this one. It's the Brass Kicking Silver Dry Shampoo for Brighter Hair Days. I will link it down below so that you can find the right one because I really have been enjoying that one. They also gave me two products from Uli Henriksen because they're also handling the PR for them. They gave me the Banana Bright Face Primer. I have been using these, uh, this one a couple of times. I think it's really nice. It smells lovely. 
bit citrusy and it feels really nice and hydrating on the skin and it's really nice to go over a foundation with this one uh, on so I have been really enjoying this it is definitely a more like hydrating primer and I have been into those lately and then I got this one and I haven't been using this yet but I'm super intrigued to use this this is the C Rush brightening double cream so this is supposed to be a very nourishing cream like a super super nourishing cream and I am super intrigued to try this it's also part of that series I have an eye cream in the series and I also have the cleanser in this series so I am super intrigued to be trying this out Oh my god, it smells so nice. It smells just like the cleanser and just like the primer. That juicy, fuzzies, juicy, orangey, clementine like smell. Super, super intrigued to be trying this out. So this is going in my let's try soon uh, pile. I am trying a couple of uh, skincare products now. I'm trying... I'm trying to use them for at least two months where I switch them out so that I can get a good feel of how I feel about them before I, like, I review them. I did get some other things as well, but I'm not going to mention them now because now I want to get into some fashion. I feel really good about the fact that all of these things that I got, like that I bought and that I got in PR, there's only two things that I actually haven't tried. One of them being this singles palette that I bought from Colourpop that I bought myself and the other one being this uh, holiday <laughs> illuminating a little collection that I got from Colourpop. Other than that, I have tried all of these things and I feel really proud about myself for that because sometimes, I mean, sometimes I do see YouTubers and they get like 20 packages a week and I, I mean, obviously I understand that that is just too much to try and I hope I never end up in a situation like that. But I do want to try things and let you know how I feel about them. So hopefully it's a bit helpful for you. Don't forget to check the video links down below. The first thing that I bought this month when it came to fashion was I bought this bag. I saw this bag when I was in in US. I saw it at a couple of places because this is a Marc Jacobs pillow bag. It has a little um, tag here that says uh, the Marc Jacobs. The Marc Jacobs. And it has a chain handle that is with the black leather and then this bag is the leather bag this is leather that has like wax on it to make it look like a pillow so it's like it's a bit squishy and it has a magnet you can see the magnet is here so it like closes and then it has a back pocket also with a magnet where I usually put my phone. I do have some things in here right now. Yeah, it also has like a zip compartment here and I can fit quite a lot of things here. You see I have a book, I have a planner, I have my keys and my wallet. I also can fit my phone back here. This does also come with a long handle so you can wear it cross body if you want to and I just really really loved it. I saw this when I was in US and I was like I love this bag I really want to buy it but I didn't want to buy it when I was there and I didn't really know what color I wanted but I showed Ricardo this bag but I love the design of like being like a pillow and it's been really in with those pillowy bags uh, the um, not Balenciaga it is the it is the Bottega Veneta like the um, the bag that they have this just looks like a clutch like a little pillow a cloud bag is it called a cloud bag i'm not sure but that that is very similar to this and to be fair you could use this uh, clutch on your arm if you want to or just hold it in your hand just like that bag if you want to this is a cheaper alternative because the bottega veneta bag is like two thousand dollars maybe even two thousand five hundred dollars i think that that is just too much for a seasonal bag like this although i'm gonna wear this for a really long time because i think it's so cute but this one was f i think 550 dollars in the us and i was like i don't want to buy that right now i'll save up a bit like this 500 dollars is still 500 dollars even though for designer bag price that is more affordable and easier for me to save up to still 500 dollars but i found it on sale in Sweden at Nelly, which is a like a global, it's like ASOS, but it's Swedish. So they have a lot of different brands, including their own and including Marc Jacobs. And they had a sale on this bag and it's still available. So I bought it for, I think it was either 50 or 40% off. Mind blowing. And it's still available. So I bought this bag for like, I don't know, it's under $300 instead, I think, if you convert it to dollars. So it's like just over 3,000 Swedish crowns. I mean, it's still a lot of money, but I was so excited to get it on sale and I'm super excited. I'm super excited that I have this bag in my life. I have been using it all January. I think it's beautiful and I love that the, there is a strap that goes. So it just sits like this. 
And I think that this is the perfect length and it's so squishy and yummy and I love it so much. So this is my new baby. I love it so much and I've been using it like crazy. Then I made one order from ASOS because I wanted, I had three things in my saved wishlist folder that I really wanted to buy and then I got a coupon and I also needed to buy a dress for Daisy Beauty Awards that is next week. Maybe it's actually when you're seeing this, who knows. But I wanted to buy something like for that as well. So I found a dress on sale and I also had a coupon. So I bought all four things in an order. Let me show you, you've already seen these things. The first thing I bought was this cardigan and you've seen this. So this is from ASOS. It is like a small mustard yellow cardigan. It's a bit fluffy and it has a nice, like a bit flowy arm and it has a bit of dropped shoulders and these beautiful like uh, turtles. Buttons. I always miss say that and you always tell me that I'm doing it wrong, but I'm doing the best I can. It is like, you can see, you can see the light in between, so it is a bit like, not sheer, but not like super full. I got this in a size 8, 8? And it, I just really, really like it. I have been wearing this a couple of times and I've been wearing, wearing it with jeans or a, a skirt and I've been wearing it not open but closed like this. Really, really like it. Next top you've already seen as well and this is so pretty. It's this flowery top. I think I wore this like two weeks ago uh, in my new makeup releases. It has some like stretch so it becomes really poofy and it's just a really tight body with like this little frill and it's one of those like I think it's called like a peasant peasant top and it has a bit of a flowy poofy arm beautiful like off white with like a khaki uh, and like 70s flower because it's like a dark muted orange and a mustard yellow flowers with khaki leaves so beautiful I have been so enjoying this top it looks great with a lot of things and it's such a nice top the next thing I bought is something that I I brought this to a conference and I wore it at a conference it is a skirt it is a skirt that has a big frill at the bottom it is like a satin but it's a not a shiny satin but it has that like like you see it has a bit of life to it but it's not like super shiny it has also this like 70s like inspired floral pattern or maybe like even 60s inspired floral pattern it's a bit like muted but I did I did like it has a belt in the waist but I think I'm gonna remove move this belt and also uh, it I did break one of the the belt is supposed to be in apparently <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna get rid of that I don't know if I'm keeping the belt or not but I just love it has like stretch in the waist and it folds really nice and it goes to under the knees so i have been wearing this only once but it looked so nice and i wore it with like a knitted green top oh so pretty and then we have the dress that i'm wearing to daisy beauty awards i don't know if the award has already been when you're seeing this uh oh yeah how am i gonna wait let me see if i can just close one button here so it's gonna be easier to show you i bought this on crazy sale and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to show you like really how this looks it has a big frill at the bottom it is a black and white dress that goes like this and it has a bit of a short sleeve with a bit of a poof on it and this is embroidered so the white is embroidered and it has like a bit of a frill under the boobs and it goes like this and in the back it is a open back not like an open open back but just a little bit open you can see it's like a little hole here at the where the lower back is going to be showing if you want to see how this looks because it also has a drop hem meaning that the back of the dress is longer than the front of the dress it is a such a cool dress and if you want to see how it looks on I am 1 million percent sure that I will put a picture of this on my Instagram so don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see some more pictures but I am super excited to be wearing this it is long in the back and it's like knee length in the front and it's so cool and different and still black and white and I'm looking forward to wearing this dress so much so I didn't really make a big order and I have been wearing these things and really been enjoying them I think I'm gonna wear that skirt with the yellow like cardigan to work next week because I think that's going to be really good but that was everything those are the things I bought and those are the things that I received in January and I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job at using them all so these are the things you're going to see in my review roundup in a bit in when is it in March I don't know anymore 
I am more organized backstage, like behind the scenes than I am when I'm filming. I think it's because I didn't have lunch. So I'm gonna go and have lunch. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!